Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Can we hear whether you are back holding or long term holding some Solana? It's always good to stake it to earn some interest. In this video, I will show you the safest way to stake it, and that's by using Phantom Wallet. So let's not waste any time and let's start right now. The first thing that you need is Solana. Yes, that's right. But besides that, you also need Phantom Wallet. So let's go download Phantom Wallet. To do that, go to phantom.app, click Add to Chrome. Here, you need to make sure that the app is by phantom.app because there are tons of fake wallets out there. If you download a fake one, the stupid scammers will steal all your Solana. So make sure that it's the right one, yeah? If it is correct, click Add to Chrome, Add Extension. You can either create a new wallet or recover your existing wallet. Click Create New Wallet. Here, they will show you your secret recovery phrase. This phrase is super duper important because if you lose it, ho, oh, you pray sky, pray floor, also no use because you will never be able to recover your wallet next time. So keep the recovery phrase at a safe location and also never ever share it to anyone else. Yeah? Once you have copied, go to next page, create your password. Take to agree to the terms of service that you are too lazy to read, then click continue and you are done. If you want to pin the Phantom Wallet to the extension bar, you can click on the extension button, look for Phantom, then pin it. Okay, next, you will need to transfer your Solana over. So just head to your crypto exchange. I'm using FTS, so I will just show you how to do it in FTS. But the steps will be the same in other exchanges. In FTS, go to your wallet, look for Solana, then click withdraw. Enter the amount to withdraw. Next, they will need a Solana address. So head over to Phantom Wallet, click Manage Token List, Look for Solana, then enable it. Click on Solana, deposit, then click the copy button. Head back to FTX, paste the address in. Double check that you copy the correct address yeah, because if you send it to the wrong place, ho, oh, you can say bye bye to your Solana. Next, do a 2FA verification, then click withdraw. Now, you just have to wait for your Solana to arrive. The transfer is super duper fast. It should take just a few minutes to arrive. One minute later. Congrats, your Solana has arrived. You will need to find a validator to stick in. Okay, so just in case you are blur blur and you don't know what's a validator, basically a validator is just someone who's validating the transactions. So it's very similar to Bitcoin mining, where Bitcoin miners use GPUs to validate the transactions. For Bitcoin, that's called proof of work. For Solana, it's called proof of history. And the validators are just computer programs. Fun fact, if you go to solanabeach.io, you can see all the validators. And you can see them taking turns to validate the transactions. There are 1000 plus validators that you can choose from. So here's how to choose a good validator. First, go to a website called validators.app. Here, they sort validators based on the scoring system. They calculate the scores based on a few factors. But all you need to know is, the higher the score, the better it is. It's like in an Asian family. The better your test score, the better child that you are. True story. Next, go to stakeview.app. Here, you can see what's the estimated return that you will receive for each validator. Okay, to choose a good validator, what you need to do is go to validators.app, look for a validator that has a high score. Then go to stakeview.app, look for one that has a high return. That way, you'll get a good validator that gives you a good return. For example, AG is ranked 13 in terms of score and is ranked 5th in terms of you. So it's a good validator. The list changes all the time. So you will need to look for your own validator, yeah? Once you have chosen the validator, go to Phantom Wallet, click Solana, click Start Earning So. Look for a validator. For example, mine is AG. Enter how much you want to stake, then click Stake. It will take a few seconds to complete the stake, so just wait for a while. Ne? It is done now. You will see that it's activating. This is because in Solana, there's this fixed period of time called Epoch. If you go to solanabeach.io, you can see that right now, it's 272 Epoch. It started at 24 January and will end on 26 January. Your crypto will only activate at the start of each Epoch and if you unstake, it will deactivate at the end of each Epoch. So think of it like a train. If you want to board the train, you will need to wait for the train to arrive. And if you want to get off, you will need to wait for the train to reach the station. Ah, something like that. Anyway, if you want to unstake your Solana, all you need to do is click Solana, click on your validator, then just click unstake. And you will get back your Solana at the end of the current epoch. Anyway, that was a super duper quick tutorial on how to use Phantom Wallet. 
Hopefully, you find it useful. Like, share, and subscribe as I'll be posting new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday.